court in Hong Kong has sentenced pro-democracy activists for planning and participating in a 2020 vigil marking the Tiananmen Square massacre. The high-profile activists include media mogul Jimmy Lai and Li Chokyan, who for years helped organize the annual event. They were among thousands of people who gathered in Victoria Park. But the vigil was banned in 2020, with authorities saying it violated coronavirus rules. But critics say it was more to do with the crackdown on dissent in Hong Kong. I'm joined now by our correspondent, Phoebe Kong, who's standing by. Phoebe, what more can you tell us about the sentences that have been handed down here? Well, today there were uh, there are eight defendants uh, sentenced at court today for their roles in the banned tenement vigil last year in 2020 at the very iconic uh, memorial site at Victoria Park. And uh, the court uh, handed down um, 4.5 to 14 months jail term to the eight defendants. Uh, among them were uh, like includes the most prominent figures in Hong Kong, like Jimmy Lai, the media tycoon, and also the uh, Hong Kong Alliance's uh, chairman, Li Chek Yen, and the vice chairman, Chao Hang Tong. So, so the Hong Kong Alliance was um, the visual organizer for over three decades before the visual was first banned in 2020. So it was also a leading activist group. And uh, other, other than the rest of them, are uh, law, former lawmakers and also activists, so he, they have to serve jail terms for uh, 4.5 to 14 months um, in the prison. And, and that was like among the one of the most heavier sentence in the same in the similar cases, because like, earlier this year and last year, we saw like other defendants, including Joshua Wong, sentenced uh, for the same incident for like uh, no more than 10 months. So this is pretty much um, the most heaviest, um, the, the heaviest sentence that we've seen uh, uh, regarding the tenement visual in Hong Kong. Now, Phoebe, the court says this gathering in 2020 violated COVID-19 restrictions, but talk to us about the crackdown and dissent in Hong Kong that plays a big role here. Um, so last year, it was the very first time in Hong Kong's history that the authorities rejected the application for organizing um, a tenement official, uh, which was basically uh, a long tradition in Hong Kong's protest history and in the civil society that right after 1989 tenement crackdown in Beijing, that every single year in Hong Kong, there was a massive uh, uh, ten, uh, visual and commemoration that morning the victims killed in the uh, uh, very bloody, deadly crackdown in Beijing in 1989. So last year, the authorities used this, uh, the, the, the reasons of like coronavirus, coronavirus restrictions and the social distancing rules to ban um, the visual. So, um, so basically, the court is ruling that these defendants, they were participating in the unauthorized assembly, which was not approved by the police. So um, it was like, um, of course, the authorities denied the accusation that this was a political prosecution. But um, during the trial, we've seen defendants argue that this is something to crush on the freedoms and civil liberties that guaranteed in Hong Kong's basic law, the meaning constitution. DW correspondent Phoebe Kong reporting live for us from Hong Kong. Thank you, Phoebe.